and the award for best film goes to Jack Brame with The Grand Gesture. Hey, I'm here at the Awesome Spotlight Film Festival with Jack Brame, who just won the uh, Best Film Award for his film, The Grand Gesture. Uh, tell us a little bit about your process making this film. Oh, God. Uh, it was such a long process. I, I never thought I was actually going to be able to make this movie. It just kind of felt like it was going to be something that I would get to if I ever got to that level budget-wise, but uh, just kept my head down, kept learning, and eventually looked up and I was filming it, and I never thought that was going to happen, so 10 months later, a whole long editing process, and here we are, uh, and this is great. This is awesome. What would you say were some of your biggest uh, you know, learning points, takeaways from, from making this film? Well, biggest thing was learning how to work with actors, learning how to work with people on set. You know, everything that we had done prior to this, me and my friend Zeb off camera, we were just making short films, just me and him, and uh, this was kind of my first foray into working with people and having to trust people. That was maybe the biggest thing was learning how to not, learning how to delegate basically and not have to do everything myself. Uh, but uh, no, I, that trust was rewarded and uh, it, it paid off. How did you find your, your crew work together in your different departments? Kind of you're talking about this. Was this maybe a new process, having a bigger crew? Yeah, so um, a lot of the people that I met, I either met through other people that I had known, but uh, I got to give a shout out to Adam Castillo, my first assistant director. I met him when I was working at a television station in Houston. And uh, such a smart guy, such a humble guy, kept his head down and just helped me do what I was trying to do. And, and all these people that were helping out, actors and, and crew alike, were... Uh, were just so bought into what I was doing for no reason other than just the love of doing it, and I, I thank them for it. Any advice for other filmmakers who are trying to make that jump into their next big film, whether it be a new short or a feature or something like that? You just got to do it. I mean, the biggest thing is the biggest way you're going to learn is just by doing it. You're not going to get better just by thinking about it. You just got to go for it, and either it's going to work or it's not, and either way you get better and you learn, and, and then you're just that much more prepared for the next project. Any other thoughts? Hey, man, thank you, Austin Spotlight. Jack Graham, thanks so much.